The massive earthquake that struck Haiti on January 12th caused widespread damage and left the nation's capital of Port-au-Prince in ruins. An estimated one million women, men, and children in and around the city lost their homes, forcing many into makeshift temporary camps. Oxfam is providing essentials, including clean water, shelter materials, sanitation facilities like latrines, supplies like soap, and cooking implements to tens of thousands of these displaced people. Despite the losses they have suffered, many people are working hard to turn the empty lots, golf courses, and churchyards where they have taken refuge into places where they can live with dignity. Oxfam is there alongside them. Country director Yolette Etienne is leading Oxfam's relief effort. You know there is a lot of children, there is a lot of women, and we try to provide water, but people is coming and coming. The camp is growing and growing. We need to adjust our, our offer. We had already some bladders. We need to add more and to try to provide drinking water to people, but also water for the other needs. 50,000 displaced people now live on the grounds of the Patientville Club, a former luxury golf course. Within just two weeks of the earthquake, Oxfam had launched a cash-for-work effort here. People earn money cleaning up the camp, which improves living conditions and stimulates the local economy. While Haiti needs support from the international community, the real engine that will drive things forward is the unique insight and determination of Haitians themselves. It's going to be hard to recover, but hopefully we will, says one quick survivor. We have to do anything we can to rebuild our community and our country.